Hello, 86. It is I, Brian White. If you think that I look like I got dragged on the highway under my eyes, it's because I had closed comedons that I tried to rub off with Q-tips and it just kind of ripped my skin off and now it's a little scabbed over. So this evening, I wanted to tell you that something happened that I never thought in my life would happen but I'm still discounting it because I am so self-effacing and I try to minimize all of my accomplishments because that's what my parents did when I was growing up. I passed the preliminary round of a professional orchestra audition. I've had almost 10 live auditions so far in my life. San Diego, Minneapolis, Montreal, um, Finland Opera Balletti, two times at the current orchestra that I sub at, uh, Milwaukee on Zoom, and Portland, M Maine, Portland, Maine, not New Hampshire, Portland, Maine, and then a few pre-screenings. So, um, yeah, basically 10 auditions. And I finally passed the preliminary round for the audition at the orchestra that I have been subbing with for a year now. And um, it, I guess it felt good, but the moment that I didn't pass the semi-final round, it just kind of nullified any good feeling I had. Um, people are yap yap yapping away over there. So I hope you can hear me. I mean, I hope God can hear me. Of course God hears me. Anyway, I have a bone to pick, as always, with Satan or whoever is responsible for my continual misery. So I was scheduled to play my preliminary round at 11 a.m. yesterday. So this all happened yesterday. And then the manager who I have been dealing with personally for a year now since we worked together. Um, he told me, he asked me if I could come an hour earlier. So I accommodated and I came an hour earlier. And I played second out of everyone, out of every preliminary applicant, and I passed the preliminary round. Um, and then he said, okay, come back in three hours. And because I live close by, I just thought, might as well go home. So I went home for three hours, I came back, and there still was an hour before I could be put into a practice room. So what he should have said is come back in four hours, but it was just so disorganized. The whole thing was so disorganized. So I had an hour of just waiting under some umbrella under the sun. And, the, and he assured me, he said, you will have an hour to practice in a room before your second round. I did not have an hour to practice. At best, I had 40 minutes to practice because it was just so disorganized. Um, and as soon as my second round was over, I was shooed out and the next person came and commandeered my sofa place where, where my violin was. And I was in such a rush to put my violin away that I like, I dented my instrument with my thumbnail because I was trying to get everything out of the way for her to put her stuff there. And she was just really rushing me because she wanted to get on stage. And I was so pissed about fucking up my instrument a little bit to accommodate her when no one was accommodating me. And then when she was done playing, she so annoyingly like 
flopped into a chair outside and put her head in her hands and she was just saying, oh my God, I screwed it up so much naturally. She was one of the four people to advance to the final and I was not. Um, I have some problematic views on her demographic. So she just so happens to be a Let's say a And there are too many boxy, fat, overweight white ladies in professional orchestras. For I don't know, like for some scientific reason they experience less performance anxiety. But whatever happened to diversity in the workplace, I would most certainly be a diversity hire. First of all, I am an incredible musician. I play very virtuosically. I am gay, if you don't consider me trans, because I do experience severe gender dysphoria. I'm an ethnic minority. I mean, yes, I'm half white, but I'm still an ethnic minority. And I'm not a boxy, fat, overweight, white lady. So yes, I would be a diversity hire, and I think my time has come, but maybe I'm just being delusional. At the same time, something happened today that I wanted to touch on that really makes me feel like I'm not being delusional. So I went to a gig, a rehearsal for a gig, and yes, I responded last minute to the offer because I was so focused on my miserable audition. And like the week leading up to my audition, I canceled my engagements because I was so nervous and so stressed because I had debilitating anxiety over this, over auditions. It just, it's like the world is ending. And maybe I need to be on Zoloft in order to function because just taking 60 milligrams twice of propranolol on the day of my audition did not stop me from thinking, oh my god, I'm a failure. Oh my god, I'm gonna mess up. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. But anyway, so I go to this engagement today and the person who shows up, who happens to be the concertmaster, is some guy with far less experience than I in classical music. He sounds so annoying. He is so annoying. I cannot stand him. And he just so e like easily looked at me, saw, me, saw that I was there, his superior, and plopped in the concertmaster seat. And the moment he did that, I got up and left. And when people asked me where I was going, I just said, I have to make a phone call. But I immediately emailed the guy in charge of this event. And I said, I cannot play under so-and-so. I can't, I can't do it. It's bad for my mental health. I did not spend so much money and sure you can say it wasn't my money but when i was a kid my family's money is basically my money okay what who else's would it be so i spent so much money and shed way too many tears during my time during my musical education to play under a math teacher to play under anyone who is not my equal or superior in classical violin playing, okay? I grew up with a mom who mocked my sister and me for our orchestra placement in Aspen Music Festival. She would call Symphonia, the orchestra that my sister got in, the orchestra that my sister got in when she was 14, Symphony, Symphonia. And she would constantly be harping on me, why can't you be like Stephen Kim? Why can't you be like this other dutiful Korean kid? 
oh, this mom is so lucky that her kid is so obedient and practices so much, like six to eight hours a day. Why can't you be like this kid? It got to be so bad that I would yell at her in retaliation and this annoying ass kissing bus driver would tell me to shut it. And that got to be so bad that my mom, who was verbally harassing and abusing me, told him to shut it because she was just spiraling out of control, comparing me to every fucking Asian kid at camp. I didn't go through all of this from four years old to 18, to 20, to 21, 22, 23, 24. I didn't go through all of that to play under amateurs. And I have had my moment of reckoning. I can pass preliminary rounds in auditions. I am not a complete failure. I thought it was never going to happen. It happened, and I downplayed it because I've been subbing with that orchestra for a year. No, it still happened. It didn't make me feel any better about myself, but it definitely made me feel like I cannot just take it laying down. I need to know my worth, and I need to demand respect in the workplace. I will only play beneath full-time members of an orchestra, people with one-year contracts in the orchestra, people who I think are technically better than me. And to be honest, there are very few. And I'm trying to be as clear-headed as possible when I assess their abilities. <sighs> this whole situation is so frustrating. And just because I advanced doesn't mean that someone watching this with an equal non-existent level of self-esteem or self-worth or who has been shat on their whole life will also make it. Like I had this perfect storm of just totally nailing my Brahms concerto exposition and then doing a really nice contrast Mozart 39 second movement and then a really agile Prokofiev classical symphony fourth movement and then going out with a bang with Don Juan that's how I advanced and then in the second round I just I guess I wasn't perfect or they don't want someone as virtuosic or whatever the reason may be I did not get to the final and yet another overweight white lady did because the whole world of orchestral playing just has to turn into an elephant circus and I am not saying that I have something against every overweight white lady that exists I think that there are some who are absolutely lovely and nice but it doesn't change the fact that they are commandeering a whole section of an industry that should be diverse or if it shouldn't be why are all of these powerful people in music saying that we need more diverse musicians. If it's not going to be that way, then stop pushing that agenda. It just doesn't make any sense. I'm as diverse as it gets. Okay, I don't have to be fucking Zendaya to be diverse. So, that's basically where my head is at. I walked out of a gig today because I didn't want to sit under a crackpot musician, musician, and I feel like my audition was rigged and manipulated and just totally not ideal for how much I prepared for it. But you know what? These days, I'm not one of those Stephen Kim dutiful kids who practices six to eight hours a day. At best, I practice maybe three to five hours every day leading up to the audition for one to two weeks. And that was enough for me to pass prelims, but it wasn't enough for me to get rid of my nerves. So 
I have another audition coming up. And you know what? I don't care if posting a video like this hurts my chances of employment because people need to hear these things. This is the truth coming from someone who is actually in the trenches with all of you who I'm assuming, anyone watching this who has taken an audition and failed miserably or thought that they had everything it takes and their anxiety and their past traumas just inhibits them from succeeding, I am this testimonial that things can go in your favor even when nobody wants them to because I don't think that the orchestral manager wanted me to advance when he changed my audition time when he you know what I, I don't know I just know that I earned it because no concessions were given to me and I have a feeling that it's not just the Cleveland Symphony Orchestra that is corrupt. I think that every professional orchestra plays cards in certain ways that musicians they favor will get a random letter assigned to them that the panel behind the screen will pick. And they for sure can recognize people's playing. I think that they could recognize my playing. I have a very distinct virtuosic tone to my playing. They could probably recognize the fat white girls playing. I don't think that it's fair, but for this other audition that I'm doing, all I can do is just practice my ass off and be as prepared as I can and not be overly unnecessarily polite to any fat white girl who is going to try and hustle me out after I'm done because they don't deserve that. And now I have another nail mark on my violin when I could have just said, can you wait? It's all I can do to keep from screaming. Yesterday I just wanted to cry, but I didn't. And I'm just gonna keep doing gigs where I do feel respected and now I'm going to go back to watching Fatal Attraction because my icon is Alex Forrest. Maybe that says a little too much about me, but I think that if someone is going to disrespect you, they deserve any and all of the consequences. Your psychosis being one of them. So yeah, maybe I'll go list a few more dolls on eBay. I can't tell if I've been eaten alive by mosquitoes, but I'll see when I get inside.